travel vlog. I thought I would film today because Dan and I are getting ready to take Lambo for a walk and he is very excited about it, but we are going a different route than we usually take because I was on YouTube, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. And I was watching a YouTuber that I've recently found who does a lot of like book related videos, reviewing books that she's read, talking about them and whatnot. And she did a vlog about a year ago of going to, you know, you, have you seen like those little free libraries that are kind of around where they're just like tiny little like boxes, essentially wooden boxes that are perched in different places and they're full of books and there's just like the take one, leave one rule, essentially. And she was going around to these different ones and she had cleared out like five or six or so books that she had in her collection that she was wanting to get rid of. So she was taking them to these libraries to switch them out to look for some different books. And I thought that idea was fantastic. But she mentioned also, and that was something that intrigued me a lot, was that there is a website where you can go to find where these little libraries are. And it's little for littlefreelibrary.org. Let me double check that quick, hold on. Yes, it is littlefreelibrary.org. And you can go on there and they also have an app that you can download, which I've gotten. And you can just kind of type in where you are. You can either have them like use your location or you can just type in a location and it'll pop up with all of the different little free libraries that there are in that area. And so I knew in our town, we had one because I'd seen it. I've never stopped at it, but I've seen it. And come to find out there's actually a second one not that far from us as well, which is very exciting. And tomorrow we're planning on going to Fort Wayne and Fort Wayne has like a hundred of them. So while we were in Fort Wayne, I figured I'd have this app pulled up. And if we happen to be near any of them, we can swing by and stop and look. And I thought it'd be a lot of fun. So today we are going for a short walk. We were only going to one little library. And so I went ahead and just grabbed two books that I knew we were going to get rid of eventually. And I figured I would take them with. That way, if we go to this little library and we find any books that we like, that we want to give a try to, we can just switch them out. And if not, we can either just take our books back or just leave them there. But I thought it'd be fun to bring you along. It's like a little like book adventure type vlog. So I wanted to just quickly show you what books we were taking with. The first one, I've been going through all of my cookbooks that I own and like looking through and tabbing recipes that I wanna try and putting them in my Organize Eat app that I have so that I can actually start cooking more meals and have them all accessible rather than having to flip through a, like a million different cookbooks. And while going through these cookbooks, I'm realizing that there's some cookbooks that like I really have no intention of reaching for ever. Um, one of them has actually been featured on this channel before. And this is the only, I'm only taking two books with us today, but this is the cookbook that we're taking. And it's this Paleo Sweets cookbook. And I had gotten this at a thrift store because I don't even know how long ago now. Then I was looking at it and I'm like, oh, these desserts look good. And they're like paleo, so they're supposed to be using like the healthier ingredients and things like that. And there was a video where we made a recipe out of here and it was terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're better off having broccoli for dessert. <laughs> and so since then, we have not reached for this cookbook at all. We still have the ingredients that we had to spend a bunch of money on to get. Those are still just in the cabinet, not being touched because we don't normally cook with them. And I, when I was going through the recipes, I flipped through this and I'm like, there are no recipes in here. Like they're all just desserts. Yeah, so like a lot of them look delicious, but I'm like, I think I was just so scarred from that first experience with this cookbook that I just don't want to try anything else in it. So, which is a bummer, but there might be somebody else who really wants to enjoy paleo sweets that will see this and this will be fantastic. So that's the one we brought. The other one we are going to take with is Jim Gaffigan's Dad is Fat. This is a hilarious book. We love this book and it's a hardcover, which is really nice. The only reason we're taking this one to possibly drop it off is because we have two copies and both of them are in great condition. Uh, they're both hardback covers. We found both of them at thrift stores. Um, and we had picked 
up a second copy with the intention of like gifting it to somebody who we thought might enjoy it but it's ended up just being on our shelf for multiple years and we've not done anything with it so we're like let's just bring it along and that way if we see multiple books we like we can drop off multiple books so that's what we're doing i thought i'd bring you along for it let's go Yep. Oh, free, littlefreelibrary.org. Yeah, look, there you go. Very awesome. Oh. And I like the wreath. That's really, fun. there's a ton of books in there. Oh yeah. my goodness, you're gonna have to hold these books too. I guess so. <laughs> well, let's check it out. Oh my, just right off the bat. All right. Yeah. Looks like a lot of teen fiction. <laughs> Don't look behind you. <laughs> Band-Aids and duct tape. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah. But sometimes like you'll get really lucky and somebody will have like dropped off a, like, a, like a really nice classic or something in here. Yeah. I did like that they had Sue Grafton in here, C and D, which I already have both of those, so I don't need that for anything. So I'll snag that. Yep. There you go. Stick that right there. There we go. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, you gotta kinda push it. Cool. That's a really cute wreath. I like that a lot. Alright. Alright, it is a new day, and Dan and I are in Fort Wayne for some appointments and then just miscellaneous stuff while we're here. And we had gone through a bunch more books that we had and most of them being like doubles or just ones that I've read that I have no intention of like hanging on to. We are now walking to where I think the first little library is. Um, we're kind of like guessing that this is where it is because we don't actually know for sure. So there's just a walking path. So we're following it and we're gonna see if we find one. Okay. Here we go. Okay, oh pretty simple. Yeah. It's like you're in the... Open it. Yeah, oh yeah. You didn't do it. I'll be able to drop a couple stuff off anyway. Yeah. So, there's the mountain lion. Ooh, Transformers. <laughs> Scooby Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, Monster Joke Book. That's pretty cool. Aquamere. Aquamere. Yeah. Who's Pumpkin? Evidence-based practice and preemie. Practical pre guide for nursing. Interesting. Ah. Uh. And preemie's book. Hmm. I think you probably just drop both of those off here. I think so. I had uh, two copies of what to expect when you're expecting what to expect the first year. Ooh, we could have a mirror of mystery. Very cool. Yeah, so I didn't need double copies of them. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Hey, it's got a bookmark now. You're welcome. <laughs> Well, we didn't get a book. That's okay. Because we dropped some off. Mm -hmm. That's good enough. On to the next. Oh, oh, I only got the last like second of it. Oh, <laughs> You're going. That was a long time was though. One, yeah. That was impressive. That was pretty good. All right. It has been quite a while since the last clip that you saw of us doing our little book adventure. I'm trying to oh, buckle up. Oh. Dan and I are currently in Illinois, and while we were here, I had looked up on the little tiny free, littlefreelibrary.org map and found that there was a lot of, hi puppy, you're okay, Amos is over there, and Lambo in the yard. Um, I saw that there was a lot of little free libraries in the LaSalle, Peru area where my mom is, because that's where we are right now. So Dan and I just hopped in the car, and we are going to do a little circuit around town here and try to see if there are any good books. And we have that box right there full of books that we are wanting to offload that we are going to take with us. And if nothing else, we'll at least get rid of all of these. So that is our plan. Join us, get to see what kind of a variety of books are in these little free libraries and it'll be a good time. Here's little Library number one, complete with Tracy Chapman. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Good start right off the bat. Hey. Hard cover of I. Yeah. Get nothing else to get a nice stick. <laughs> well, my wonder, I'm wondering, like, do I want to upgrade to a hard cover of I? Might so be I worth have. It. I might, I might actually do that. Just upgrade here. Yeah. So the complete book of food counts. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. All right, so not not a huge selection here, but we can still drop off a couple. Yeah. So yeah. we're dropping off this one, which is a trilogy by Zoe Sugg. Just little like teen fantasy, or not fantasy, but teen fiction. And then New Kid on the Buck, which is really fun poems by Jack Brodsky. Pop those in there. Nice. Some solid finds. Very yeah, good. Well, that says take a movie, leave a movie. Oh. <laughs> Are yeah. these not? Oh, there's this books is... in there. Okay. okay. Interesting. We saw there's a pantry. And there's also this, but this is all. <laughs> this is actually books. That's kind of fun. There's no way to like open it more than that, but that's okay. That's pretty fun. Okay. So let's see. What kind of stuff we got in here? New York Times doesn't tell us much. Aw, the frightened tiger. All right, so in this one, we're going to drop off another one of the Girl Online trilogies because I had several of these. Toss that in there. And then also, a great one, Jim Gaffigan's Dad is Fat, which is just very hilarious. Toss that in there as well. Are you wanting to take that? I don't know. Uh, it's worth a try. It's worth a try. We did just inherit at least five book right. boxes full of children's books. Right. So yeah, we can probably. <laughs> this one's fun. Yeah. It's all rainbow. Hmm. Little latch. Is that a cute little latch? Mm. Oh, there's some Douglas MacArthur. Mm -hmm. Of course. I love Dougie. What's this? Pope Francis in the future of oh, wow. Catholicism. Mm, interesting. Oh, we got a couple of movies in here. Yep. While he's looking at those, the two we are going to drop off is this copy of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which we have two copies of, which is why we are dropping one of them off. And this one, that is This Book Loves You by Pew PewDiePie that I found at a thrift store, I don't even know how long ago, and I got it because I wanted to do something with it, like artistic, and then I just never got around to it. So mm. it's just been kind of sitting there, wasting space on my shelf. So now it can go here and somebody can hopefully enjoy it. It's very warm, so excuse the red face and sweat. So <laughs> we are currently on our way to the fourth stop. And this one is actually one that my, yeah, there it is right there. Yeah. I see it. Awesome. Yeah. Um, that my mom knew about that was not on the little free library map. So it's like a secret one. And we're going to have to figure out somewhere to park. There are all sorts of vehicles. This is not going to take very long. No. Oh, pulling. Okay. I'm going to pull up in the person's driveway. Sure. Get that open. Wow. Ah! Well, I guess it's God's will that we have that one. 2022 Colorado fishing. <laughs> exactly. Haiku? Haikus are fun. We gotta jump in <laughs> too. There we go. Fix that. So the next Good person. Job. Oh, there's a book all about Justin Bieber. Bring it out because we need something to destroy. <laughs> I think your girl's in the dark. <laughs> yes. So. This one is very similar to the first drop off where the another one from that trilogy and then another Jack Prolutsky poetry book that is like very, very good and the poems are great in it. But I think that's pretty good. Nothing really all that interesting in this one. All right, yeah, this one. Holy, this one is full. Interesting art on it. 
going all the way around. <laughs> all right, we might have to go through this one a little slower. That's oh, goosebumps. Yeah. Never really read goosebumps. They always the idea of them always scared me. Do they still? Yeah, I'm just not interested now. Okay. In every generation, this one goes from It's a Hebrew. Oh, that's pretty cool. I might actually just hold on to this yeah. just as a modern reference for Judaism. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's worth it to me. Oh, this is in German. Oh. Hmm. We have a German chapter book at home that I haven't even made my way through yet. <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Yeah. If, this might be interesting, if no other reason, just to have some kind of translation project. That's true. It would be a lot shorter than that other book I have. Mm -hmm. Is that the last page? Might be, yeah. So. Huh. Yeah, I'd be game to hang on to that one, too. Okay. There we go. Pictures to stretch the imagination. Oh, it's so like brain teasers, probably. Um, it's, it's like... Um, oh, like poems? Well, it's... Um, um, it, it, Art that's inspired by the works of Escher. Oh. Uh, it's the same, right side up, upside down. Gotcha. So. And then the two that we are leaving here is the final installment of the Girl Online series that I own. Because I had two of these first ones. And then The Elements of Style, which is a book from Dan that he had two copies of. Dropping one of those off as well. Yes. Toss those in. Mm -hmm. cool. All right, very cool. Yep. It's always fun getting new languages. Yeah. All right, cool. Awesome. So I wanted to do a really quick wrap up on this video and just show you what books we did end up getting. We unhauled the majority of the books that we had planned on unhauling throughout all of these tiny libraries. We, there were a few more in Illinois that we wanted to get to that we ended up not getting to, but that's okay because there's at least one more in town here that we haven't gone to yet. And there's apparently a bunch in Warsaw as well. And I know there's a butt ton and a half in Fort Wayne. That is an accurate measurement that we could visit as well. So there's many more opportunities for a part two to this video, many more. But for now, these are the books that we picked up. Looking through all of the footage, I thought for sure there was going to be more that we would have gotten. And it just turned out that the batches of books that we were looking at, nothing really struck our fancy that much. So the first thing, that we picked up is actually a book I already have. It is Sue Grafton's Eye is for Innocent. But the reason I picked this up is because it's a hardback cover and the version I have is paperback. So this is purely an upgrade for me. These two were ones that Dan wanted to pick up. This one is Ophelia's Shatten Theater. Why do I feel like I've just cursed? It looks like a fairly spooky story about this giant cathedral and a kind of spooky old woman, but everything's in German. So we picked this up. Yeah, this looks like a scary story. This is gonna be like scary. Basically we picked up this book so that we could practice our German some more. Uh, that's, that's basically it. The pages are like, there's, there's a lot of text happening on those pages. So that is the main reason we picked this up. There's no real reason that we're learning German. It's just kind of like, because, and we're not doing it actively either. So I don't know when we'll get around to actually translating this, but if we do, I'll let you know if it's scary or not. 
The last book that we picked up was this one. It is called In Every Generation. And Dan was interested in this because it talks about, it looks like it talks a lot about the Passover. And there is a lot of information about the holiday known as the Passover. And there's a lot of Hebrew in here. And like you can see that. And Dan just thought this was very interesting. And it looks again, like it's geared toward children. Dan knows Hebrew. This might be more modern Hebrew than ancient Hebrew. So he might have to look up a few things because he studied more ancient Hebrew and not so much modern, but still be really, really interesting. He thought this would be a really good resource to be able to use and look into. So that's that. I thought that was a really cool resource. And that's all we picked up. Mostly children's books one upgrade to a book I already have. Dan and I are like kind of picky about books that we grab because we already have so many books on our shelves that we haven't read yet that we want to read. And we're only going to pick up a book if we like truly want, like think it would be worthwhile to read, which is why we don't pick up many. And also, it's a little frustrating, like you probably saw in all of the footage, how many of the books in these tiny libraries are just like romance novel trash. And I mean, if you like that, sure, fine, whatever. But like that is not my genre of music at all. And there is a very cute dog being walked over there. And I'm getting distracted by it because it is very cute and squishy. Anyway, so that was our tiny library adventure video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you want a part two, like I said, there are a lot of areas with tiny libraries around us that I did not get to in this video that we very easily could make a part two. And I have more books that I could unhaul and go through that we could probably get rid of to take to these tiny libraries. So if a part two is something you are interested in, please give this video a thumbs up and please comment down below saying that you would be interested in a part two and I will absolutely get started on that. But with all that, I will end the video here. I hope you have had a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.